Hi everyone, Damsels in DIY here. We are so excited to talk to you about our flower dresses. So we create these really fun, poseable flower dresses. They all have individual petals. They're wonderful. Everything is like hand dyed, um, crafted, and just, it's amazing. Every single one that you make is unique. Yep. I started making them about um, four years ago. And the very first one I made was for a shoot out of the coast. And it just happened to be that during that shoot, I proposed to my now husband, Sean. It was adorable! <laughs> <laughs> that one was a full-sized flower dress. And this is when I was first experimenting with these dresses. And I did not wire the petals for this one. I actually molded them over mounds of fabric and plastic to try and give them a petal shape. But since then, I had learned to put wire into the dresses so that you can actually make them poseable and pretty adjustable. And then when I first made those dresses, I did a photo shoot with Elise. That's me. And it was actually one of our first times really working together. Mm -hmm. So um, that these are kind of special to us. They are, they're so special. And they're just, <laughs> they're wonderful. And for the one that she made for me, all those years ago uh, it was a shorter <laughs> one which was fantastic because that way it was like a smaller rose again that was really really great with the adjustable petals because you could just make it look so unique and so since then um elise helped me work on three other flower dresses this summer which need a couple of adjustments um, we found out the wiring we were using for those wasn't quite as strong so we're gonna be putting some stiffer wire in those, but now we are also about to create three more dresses. Three more! And these ones are going to be a dandelion dress, a peonies, and a rose. rose. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm thinking we're gonna do a darker shaded rose because we have a nice light pink colored rose and we have a really cute kind of Peach orange peach rose. Orange, yeah. Um, so we're gonna add a red, darker colored rose to that. And so that is the one that we're gonna be teaching you how to make over the next course of videos that's going to come out over the next few months. Um, and you're gonna get to see little steps of the other two dresses in creation as well. But we're gonna be teaching you how to make the petals um, for costume work that are poseable. We're gonna teach you how to make a corset that can go over the top of your petal skirt costume. We're gonna teach you how to make the petal skirt with your petals. We're also going to teach you how to make fairy wings that fit into your corset so that they'll be strapless. And then we're also gonna teach you how to make the costumes really decked out and wonderful at the end of all of those processes. Gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. And we're gonna go step by step, like cutting everything out, designing everything, dyeing everything. So I'm just, I'm really excited about it, you know, just to get in on this in a more involved way than just like helping a little bit. Yeah, yeah. She's going to be doing a lot more on these dresses. And we're also gonna be teaching you patterning. So like everything you need to know about fitting a corset to your body and how to create the pattern pieces and how to even adjust the pattern pieces if you didn't quite get them right. So I, we're really excited to show this to you. We um, are gonna have so much fun making them and then also after we're done making them, we're gonna have a ton of fun getting out there and doing a bunch of photo shoots with these dresses. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun and we cannot wait to share this with you guys. Yep. So thank you so much again for watching and we'll see you next time. We'll be teaching you how to make petals. <laughs> <laughs>